Whoosh. Buzz, buzz, buzz. There we go. Welcome, welcome everybody to the live stream. Um, uh, Mr. Foxbot Games is with me in voice. Um, yes, yeah, Saffron Raid, as always. Hey, Saffron, did you get your technical issues uh, uh, fixed? I saw at the beginning you were having some issues, but then towards the middle of your stream you were actually doing house flippers, so hopefully everything's going okay on that front. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. I hope you had a good Thursday. I'm in a really good mood because I... Krugspleen says, nope. Oh, I did not. What was the issue? I'm curious. I, it's not that I have a solution. I'm just morbid curiosity. Um, I will have to revert the server. Oh, that's a Minecraft thing. That's why you ended up playing House Flipper. Some part of the server went bang. All the broken, says Pirate of Old. Yeah. Um, well, I, I hopefully we will not break this server this evening. We did find our mystery chunk loader uh, that Fox, I think, is taking care of. I haven't broke it yet. Oh. Um, Atomic Blom Cause... says, I'm sick today, therefore you can't stop me from visiting. <laughs> Hi, Blom. What's going on? Um, yeah, do you I... want to... I can't find where our RF is draining. The system won't boot on. Um, Eridani tipped with bits just to outdo Dark Preacher, I'm betting. Um, so, okay. I'm waiting for Twitch, twiddles thumbs, yeah. Um, so that's the big secret that's kind of out for right now. Um, uh, I get, I get to do this. That was my first subscriber overnight last night, and then we had, we get to embarrass some people. Should be another one coming up after that one. There it is. And I had a third. I am the bit wars have started. Hey, cuts. Um, Trunks says, oh no. Um, yep, you're next, buddy. I got a um, uh, Twitch affiliate overnight last night, so I can actually take bits and cheers and subs and all sorts of fun things. I have submitted my first emote. But it's it's waiting pending approval. No, no. So yeah, uh, it'll probably be done over the weekend, and we can start using it and abusing it next week. Um, I did this offline to avoid this. Tough. Thank you very much for your support, everybody's support. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead. Oh, nope. Gotta resize something. Hang on a sec. Minecraft is. <laughs> Wrong. Mm, it is non-existent. Hang on a sec. Let me go over here. Um, let's see if I can make this cooperate. There we go. And I get to. Give me just, just give me just a second here, folks. Hooray! Now I get to lock that, and I can transition on over to in-game footage and do the same thing with my other screen. Um. Yeah, so I'm in a fabulous mood. I hope everybody else is. I am doing good and doing fine. Uh, I have been trying at something like this for the better part of a couple of years now. And uh, it feels good to finally accomplish it on a platform. So I'm a happy camper. Okay, awesome. I can turn that off. And we can go back over here. Zoosh. Okay, awesome. Um Found Crunk a po power problem. Atomic Blom subscribed and Crunk Spleen subscribed. Thank you both. I just I was adjusting windows. Thank you. You're very, very awesome. Uh Keyboard Monkey says, Congratulations on the affiliate status. Vagram, where's their power problem? I'm curious, where is it? 
our cables down here aren't up enough to transfer fast enough. Uh, what do you mean the ones from power to... Oh, God, wait a minute. Hang on a sec. I have... Here, have some power cables. Um, is it time that we upgrade everything to Ender or... Not Cryo, but we could do Ender Ducts, right? Um, yeah. Well, as soon as the, I can get the system back online. Right, 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 right. We have to wait for some power to catch up. Um, okay. Yeah. Because this cell is almost full. And it probably shouldn't. Um, that goes up and behind the wall to this monstrosity. We have a project for tonight, and it is infinite power. Once Mr. Erdani Tribal joins us, we will actually be able to get started on that. Uh, hopefully we'll get the rest of the lights turned back on by the time it happens. Um, I made a gold one for my big spender. Is a gold emote? Yeah, I was going to work on that, but I need to get my first one approved. Um, um, <laughs> Erdani Tribal says more subs. Uh, Saffron says, congrats again on the affiliate. Thank you very much. I I cannot explain how happy I am. I tried to get affiliate, but was basically denied it on Mixer. Um, and YouTube, well, they've got their heads up their collective anuses. So, um, The wife says, I can't get video to work still. I need to go back there and troubleshoot your setup, honey, after the stream. I need to see what's going on. Something does not like her computer. Still working on the Twitch launcher to update. And this is the reason why I run all of my packs off MMC. Okay. Um, yeah, smash it with a hammer, Jen, says Aerodyne Tribal. To which uh, Keyboard Monkey apparently agrees strongly. Um, yeah. I've been working on, pretty furiously, on another um, overlay like the one I've got here. Uh, specifically for when Coop Life launches, so I can have uh, unique overlays for different games. I'm going to try and keep my art game up. We'll see if that works. Um, okay, so we still have a mystery problem. Where Do we know if there's something upstairs that's running a whole bunch of power? Let's Not go, that I know of. Let's go to b -b 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 Habitat. Tommy Blum says, Mwah -ha -ha. he's got a star by his name. I think there's a way I can change that. I have no clue how, though. I'm going to figure it out. Okay. Um, this one is full, so there's no draining on this bank. Um, I'm kind of curious real quick. I'm going to come back downstairs. Wee. Twitch seems like a much better gated progression path than other platforms. Really glad it worked out for you, man. Yeah, thank you very much, Trunks. I am super happy about it. Um, it was automatic. I started streaming last night, and they automatically detected that I finished, that I qualified. So by the end of my two-hour block of live streaming, they had already sent me the emails and everything. So, I mean, it was super painless. I'm going to... Oh, my God. Are you doing? I was going to disconnect the main trunk going up to the rest of the tower just to see if that'll help. Thoughts? I, you could try that. Although the main power connection for the system is all the way upstairs. It's true. I'm just kind of curious. I live. Hey, Air Donnie, what's going on? Oh, not much. Um, we are trying to diagnose exactly, yeah, where all the power is disappearing to. Okay, I upgraded all these cables, quote unquote. I just stole some from the, okay, all the way up to the top. That's, <laughs> that's empty. Fine. Okay, this it's is. draining power now than it's generating power, which is what I needed. But oh, it's it, still it, not. I'm wondering if some of these things are bugged. This is using ethylene at a very, very slow rate. Um, the crop cloners. Hey, 
Have power. Here we go. But the power in the crop cloners is enough to trigger the ethylene system startup to generate more power so it won't run out of power. These are staying power positive right now. Which is good. Which, um, so that means that it's not here. Okay, it's may maybe I spoke along the line. Maybe I spoke slightly too soon. It's it's fairly power positive. It's trying. <laughs> um, trying. Uh, well, no. Yeah, that one is. That one is. That one. Okay. Um. Okay. This is one of these things where I kind of wished we would have simplified our cable runs a couple of weeks ago. Um, let's see. I'm going to break that for right now. And disconnect all of this extra stuff on the um, network. Uh, that will disconnect the uh, ethylene setup, I think. Well, no, 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 no. the network controller I just broke. Now let's see if we replace it. Are you back? Whole up, system you... reboot. Oh, okay. So it might have just been an RS problem. Uh, maybe, maybe. Because the lights are back on down here. Hey, it works. I, I, I think uh, Foxbot did the equivalent to turning it off and back on again. Um, <laughs> I think I just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Trunk says, yeah, you can get sub icons somehow. I don't know how, but there is a way to do it. That might be a partner thing, not an affiliate thing. Don't know. Percussive maintenance is always fun and relaxing, says Keyboard Monkey. Um, why simplify your power when you can have a rat's nest of what the crap is going on? Going on? That That is one way to put it, Ferg, yes. Uh, <clears throat> did we break this chunk letter over here? Yes, I did. It was. Oh, hey, look! I we, was convinced it was something. We, we have a tiny visitor. Hello. The tiny where? Gotcha. The babby undead visitor. Yeah. Um, small. Oh, tiny... I forgot to light it up down there. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> small, tiny, angry visitor. It's okay. They're under glass. I don't care. They're not going to do any harm. Um. Okay. So we have this elaborate and ostentatiously designed. Oh yeah, oh. I forgot, forgot to build the room. <laughs> um, yeah, there's gonna be a nuclear reactor behind that wall. I, I don't know if it's gonna be by the end of the episode, but we're gonna see if we can uh, do that. Um, a tiny kneecap nipper says for craft. Yes, exactly. That is what it is. Um, let's see. Oh, how nice. Um, it, it, it's gravel. Okay. <laughs> Titanium. Oh, the bane of our existence right now. Tech guns. I love the mod. I hate the mod. Um. It's been a good mod to us for the sake of interesting content, but, comma, um... Okay, I have a whole bunch of bad guys at the end of a hallway that I don't want to talk to right now. Um, how much space do you need, uh, Aerodonny? I'm thinking. Does it hurt? Yep. Okay. That's what my dad always used to ask every time I actually asked that question. Um, use this or dictionary, use this or dictionary, use this or dictionary. Where is this going wrong? What? My auto crafting for some of these flux ducts, the crafting forces to use the copper hardened glass, but there's no recipe telling it it has to use that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go up a whole bunch. I'm just making a room. Mr. Tribal uh, will okay. tell me how much space he needs at, here in a minute. At mechanism. This is a bad sign. He's checking the website. Um, Not J. Or, or it's a good sign? Um, I don't know which. Uh, I don't know. 
Let's kill those. Okay. Um, <laughs> somebody will clip that, I'm quite sure, Trunks. That's one feature I have come to fall in love with, with Twitch. Over all the other amazing things, the clip feature is just hilarious. Um, okay. Ah, no, what? There we go. Clickety clackety. Ah! Oh god. Ah. Yeah, exactly. Could also be the fact that there isn't any hard mm -hmm. glass in the system uh, at all. At all. I'll complain about that live last live stream. Dun 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 dun. Um oh that that's gonna bug the crap out of me. Low res gamer oh, subscribe. Thank you very much, low res gamer. Uh, uh, uh. I have to, I have to fix this. There's a, a giant hole in the in what is going to be the ceiling. Um That's normal. Okay. I think we're gonna need higher ceilings than this, but you know, don't quote me on that. Probably. Um I also want to say, just on the subject of, you know, Twitch Prime and Twitch, well, Twitch Affiliate, I guess, more specifically, um, I absolutely adore each and every one of the people that are in my community, and, uh, I, you know, I made the decision to switch, but it's only through the support of all you, my wonderful viewers, that I actually got anywhere when I switched over to Twitch. Um, you following me and sticking behind me and whatnot was a pretty big deal, so I greatly appreciate that. It means a lot. Um, I'm going to drill a hole through your head, Iridani. <laughs> ah! Not before I suffocate in gravel, apparently. Um, okay. Can um, I help you? Do we? Have, oh crap! That was the wrong setting. Okay, elevator up. Oh wait, I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm dumb. Hang on a second. Uh, yes. Oh, of course not. Off on. Jeff, yep. Okay. Uh, tech guns. Yeah. Oh, how we love tech guns. Um, tech guns has been a great mod in terms of adding lots of interesting and colorful content, but uh, it stopped getting updated in December. So, November or December. Uh, basically, right around when we put 1.0 of the pack out. Uh, so, um, yeah, we've been having some issues with it. Um, um, oh, the wife finally figured out. Do you know what the problem is, or did you, did you figure out how to fix it? Operator error. Also, Ferg says he loves bacon. I love bacon, too, Ferg. I love bacon, too. I love too. bacon, too, Ferg. Yeah, <laughs> see? The Bacon Appreciators bacon. Club right here. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see a thing. A thing that I want to shoot with a laser gun. Gotcha! <laughs> um, it's just Speaking a bat. It's just a bat, but that's not the point. It's still fun. Okay. Um. Yeah, I adore every single one of you wonderful people. I also have the, um confusion point now of having subs here and Patreon. I think that I'm going to have to leave subs here as you're supporting me and you get cool stream perks and that's it. If you want to be supporting me and play on the servers do it through Patreon, I think, or something. A uh, one-off basis based upon special cases. Uh, I'll figure it out. Um, but... Uh, It'd be cool if you could tie the two together. I, but, I can. The problem is I mean, I could tie the two together. The bigger issue is I don't know if I have a server that would support all of my subscribers if they uh, felt true. the option to actually play. So that's the greater issue. Saffron says, "Aw, I adore you too. <laughs> uh, one day I'll meet you in person and actually, like, give you a hug, Saffron. You sound like a very huggable guy. That sounds weird. Whatever. I'm going to... Where's the flamethrower? Give me the flamethrower. Where'd it go? Aha! Die! Die, bat! Vile flying rat. Um. 
that Preacher is going to be one of. Um, single block. There we go. Okay. There's one piece of gravel in the corner, and I'm just going to leave it that way. Actually, I'm probably going to go get the exchanger. Um, let's yeah. go out here. If you want, I can throw the exchanger in the system. Um, actually, you know what? Go ahead and do that. It's Pretty in the please. System. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, um, okay. Um, oh, we have Micah. Wow. 600 blocks of white terracotta. I've got it. I've got the perfect block for the nuclear reactor room. <laughs> Sp sponge. Yeah, terracotta. No, sponge. let's sponge. It'll be hideous. No, I'm kidding. We're not going to do sponge. I will get hate mail if I use sponge. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, we could do it at end stone. That'd be really freaky. Uh, clay. Ice? Where are we getting all this ice from? Did we raid an ice planet? Yeah, did we? I looked at it. I was like, where did all this ice come from? The <sighs> miner. Okay. That's really scary. I'm um, going to have to go through the whole system and reorganize everything because of chisel. The stream has voted. We make the reactor room out of sponge. Yep, really? Berg says, I vote Sponge. Uh, safest reactor ever. I'll, it'll soak up the atoms. Saffron says, I vote Sponge too. All the better reason to use it. <laughs> Pirate of Old says, Sponge. You people are crazy. <laughs> I'm doing it, though. <sighs> We're going to have a Sponge reactor room. I'm just going to get as much of this as I can out. And uh, we're going to go on a swap fest. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna go over here. I have. Are you sure? Things on AutoCraft, correct? Yes. Okay, we're gonna go. Yes, it is glorious. <laughs> um, technically, it's probably hideous as well, but it's not the point. Um, you're going to be able to see this from the outside. <laughs> this is the Do, yellow block in the wall. Does it look amazing? <laughs> it looks amazing. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to fix this corner before I come check it out outside. Hang on a second. We have a request for Vagrom Vision. <laughs> a sponge Vagrom Vision. Hang on a second. Um, dun, 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 dun. there we go. It looks even more hideous. Look. Isn't it amazing? <coughs> it's so holy. It's like stone with a really bad acne problem. <laughs> oh, hi, Chun. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, hi, Chun. Oh, What's hi, a sponge? Chun. What's going on, hi, Chun? How are you? My favorite pig in the world, SpongeBob Vagrom Pants. Sure, let's go with that, low res. Um, uh, Morad says I totally need a better cell. Um, it's everything you hope for and more. Can we see that in Vagrom Vision? Uh, you can always swap it back after the stream ends. Does it squeak? I wish that would be awesome. If it make a <laughs> squeaky duck noise. Uh, um. Uh, it looks like strange porous rock. Yeah, that's what it does to me. Um, there's one thing I've ever contributed to your streams, Vagram. It, I'm glad this is it. <laughs> Vagram Vision. Yeah, I, I see everything in black and white, uh, John. I thought you knew that. All the complaints I've made about weird interface problems with their various mods. Uh, some yours. Yeah, I've especially tuned. Yeah, Mr. Cuts made it for me. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it back on. So you can see the way th I see things. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I, okay, I have bad news. I think we have enough sponge to do this. I mean, good oh news. God. It's good news. Glorious news. Glorious. Glorious. I'm going to just sponge around your thing. Um, sponge around it. I'm going to sponge around it. I wish it made a squeaky noise. I bet we could probably make that happen with a mod or something. Resource loader, but whatever. Because I know there's a football effect. Oh, wow. This is... Woo! 
Um, let's get... Um... Oh, today I learned. I, I, apparently, Aichun didn't know that. But Aichun's busy going to medical school. I'm not going to knock him for losing out on something. Yeah, I have achromatopsia, dude. If you ever need me to test a user interface for software, you let me know or use my website. You'll never have to worry about water leaks in the reactor room again. 100% <laughs> keyboard monkey. Can you use an image on your computer to see how it looks? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can use. Yeah. Thank you, Saffron. Uh, maybe one day I'll have time. <laughs> all the sponge all the time. Um, Was it vision.vagram.com? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Saffron linked it. I'm struggling okay. right now to implement Rorax's Tetris inventory idea. Ooh, that's an interesting notion. Do tell, Mr. Atomic Blom. Uh, yeah, I've, I've learned. I have a ton of ideas, but I try not to ask devs, hey, can you do this? Um, except for Mallrat. I just absolutely love bugging him. Uh... Special. Hey, Mara, I need a loadout mod. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Could we do this easily? And he's like, yes. Oh, Hans, any yeah. two. Thank you very much for the cheer. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is my first Someone stream since my becoming an affiliate. <laughs> I, uh, I chun shrugs. Um, the Kiro, uh, uh, Kiro, you're connecting and watching from your PS4. That's interesting. Um, okay, let's get rid of this nonsense. I wonder if I can just do... See if I can center myself. I bet this is how they painted the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> I'm betting! Oh, crap. Oh, God! <laughs> we might be out of sponge. Okay, I'm going to find another ceiling material. <laughs> oh, wow. That very easily marks the reactor room. Tart Preacher, 35 points. Eridani, 90 points. Top spot, he says. <laughs> There's a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I, I need to go find something we can use for the ceiling as an alternate. Hang on a second. What else do we have a metric ton of? Sand? No, that's not. That's a, a, a theory that won't work. Mica? What is Mica used for? Oh, wait. Um, all of our crafting. <laughs> I have an idea. Oop, no. Yep, there we go. End down. I should have been working on this over the week. What? <laughs> Making the cryostabilized flux ducts. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm gonna need a whole bunch more for in here. Okay. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Yeah! Interior design, here I come. This is gonna be awesome. My interior design teacher would be mad at you. A lot of people are mad at me. I stopped me I stopped updating the list years ago. Um ow. Yeah. I think this is the new fad. Sponge and endstone. I can see it now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to rewire the entire basement, aren't I? Have, oh have fun! <laughs> Just gonna burn jet fuel. There we go! Uh, it, it's glorious. Tell me how awesome it is. Here. Now you can see it <laughs> normally. Isn't this a gorgeous room? It color. It burns. Um, stream four times a week. Yes, I do. Fences, safest reactor room. Um, oh, uh, Aichan, I might have something to talk to you about once you're done, Vagram. Uh, ping me on Discord. I'm actually on the Forgecraft Discord, or hit me up on Twitter. We'll figure something out. I follow you on Twitter. You can PM me. Um, Berg says, uh, Vagram's, uh, preparing his career as a home decorator. Darn tootin'. Um, <laughs> the empty cut says, it could be worse. <laughs> you can't tell with Vagram vision, so, uh, <laughs> cut says, that's the point. Um, 
Thus, when you work out a block pair, Vagram can't tell the difference between and write messages on the walls. He did that once on Forgecraft. It was funny, but that's not the point. Um, <laughs> the wife says, oh, gods. Atomic Blum says, amazing. Uh, <laughs> that's actually not too bad, says I Chun. Lerdevold says, I love it. Cut says, yeah, it could be much worse. Um, it's got a healthy yellow glow, says Lawrence Gamer. Uh, Keyboard Monkey says, Raffle, I love it so much. If you made the floor end stone too, it would look all right. Actually, I can, I think, I think I can do that. I'm not sure if we have enough end stone. I might, we're short on end stone right now. We actually had way more sponge than end stone, but not enough sponge to do the whole room. Um, can I just go back to the end and just get more? Uh, <laughs> let's put the sponge up and let's go see. Let's get the exchanger. Don't right click on the door with the exchanger. Bad things happen. Um, I want to do. Ah, ma, 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 ma. Maybe. We could have a decorative border. How's that? I need so much obsidian. Um, yeah, we just ran out. Oh well. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna leave that for now. I will go get more end stone before we finish, so we can finish the room and make it ultra glorious. I'm gonna put the exchanger back in the system. I don't think I need my flamethrower? Question mark. We'll see! Exclamation point. Um, it's for safety, says Ferg. Uh, Atomic Blum, everybody's just laughing. It's like cobblestone absorbed the nuclear. Reactor <laughs> leaks are now a thing of the past. Yeah, exactly. It is a reactor leak. Oh, man, this is glorious. Let's see, what else would really pop in this room? I have an idea. I have an idea? I have an idea. Glowstone. Vanilla texture glowstone, no less. <laughs> Let's just go with ultra, you know, retro vanilla interior design. At this point, I'm doing it just to make people barf. Um, we do need some lighting in here, so it's not me being a smartass. Um, and then somewhere right about there... And I think this room is not symmetrical. Don't care. Um, I'm just going to hide this one behind the reactor. Make all the bad things go away. There we go. It looks like the padding on the inside of the nuclear reactor rooms. Okay, that's coincidentally hilarious. Is this going to be a Eulorium reactor? No! It's worse. It's a mechanism reactor, which means it's <laughs> going to work about 50% of the time, every time. No more knee nippers. Yeah, exactly. Um, So, Eridani, you have reactor frame as the base. How much plastic are we going through on this? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't gone and built the uh, solar activators yet. Yeah. Okay. Plastic. What kind of plastic are we using? What is it, the substrate uh, stuff? sheets. Oh, right, HDP, right. We do HDP. Oh, crap. Dude, we only have 8,800 of those. That's not enough. It's not, is it? <laughs> I hope you're kidding, I was. I, I am kidding, God. Dear, dear God. I mean, it wouldn't enough. take much to turn on that system again. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just sit here in this room for a minute and uh, aggravate everybody's corneas. Um, so we are making a... Is the is this one of the reactors that has a blast radius? No, I don't think so. Nope. God, no. No, it, it basically... It either works or it doesn't, which is one of the main reasons why we left it in the pack. I'm not the biggest fan of reactors that can go nuclear, like, in a bad way. I want them to go nuclear in a good way, like nuclear power, not nuclear smoking hole. Um, we, Not we, bang. yeah, we don't need another Chernobyl or Three Mile Island. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be putting out, uh, power 
beyond our wildest dreams, I think the big issue is going to be uh, keeping it working because we've been having some problems with bits of mechanism n- not always behaving right. And well, it's actually, getting... The only yeah. thing mechanism about it will be the actual reactor. There's going to be no mechanism tubing. Right. Um, so it's going to be thermal suite all the way up to the reactor, and then the reactor itself is going to be mechanism. Um, psh, I survived the 70s. Can't burn my corneas, exactly. <laughs> uh, this is pirate of old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Ichun says, but I like nuclear reactor bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen some of the wastelands that ended up on the old uh, Forgecraft servers. Um, okay. Do you need me to make stuff, Aerodonny? What do you need me to do? Um, if you can make me six of the solar neutron activators, that'd be great. Solar neutron. Oh, that's a thing. Okay. I've never used these before. Of course. Got, like a whole bunch of speed upgrades, so I don't think we can make any more of those. Neutron. Yeah, I have 26 of them. Berg says, of course, I've exploded my whole base and didn't realize it till I went back and had nothing but a giant crater. <laughs> I don't do small bases. Yeah. Uh, Sap loves nuclear reactors, says Trunks. Uh, I looked at my Discord from that one. Yeah, that was on my end. I have... <laughs> oh, Eridani. I have bad news. Yeah. Your top spot just got taken by Mr. Atomic no! Bomb. <laughs> yep. It was a good fight, but it was a short fight. Um, okay. Wait, I got, I got, go grab the credit card. <laughs> uh, reinforced alloy and elite control circuits. I think we have some of this on. We do. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to, I don't know, make a dozen, whatever. Sure. I'll wait for those to go craft. Um... Even though I'm sending one of those messages, I looked at my Discord when the sound hit. Yeah, um, I actually have streamer mode turned on in Discord. Oh, hi, Chan. I don't know why it's making that noise. I'm not sure. Hansi <laughs> said, cheered 15 points. Uh, I, I think it's just... Trying to catch up to me. <laughs> I guess. We got people trying to dethrone you off the list now. Need more sponge to protect <laughs> your base from the blast. Sure. Um, okay, those are trickling out. Let's see, what else do we need? Steel casing. Nope. Steel. Um. Uh, how many neutron activators do we need? Uh, five should be enough. So I can cram eight speed upgrades into it, into each, and then, then they don't need power. Five should be enough. Um. But okay. <laughs> Doing math in my head. <laughs> Fox Bot says it's mine. <laughs> Thank you, Fox. <laughs> Good grief! They're gonna start pulling out like Nerf weapons or something now. Quick, someone! I need three hundred and eight dollars. <laughs> I can buy a twenty-five thousand bin. Bit War Best War says <laughs> prototype trousers. Hundred percent. Hey, prototype <laughs> trousers. Do you play Destiny Two? I ran into a dude who was playing a Titan in really interesting looking armor last night, and he was called Prototype Pants. And for a split second, I wondered if that was you. Good grief. <clears throat> well, Pig, what do you want me to call you? That is your name. Mm. Not prototype trousers. Okay, well, there is a person out there named Prototype Pants, apparently. I need two, three, four, five. Hooray, we have enough. One, two, three. Atomic Bomb says, sure, it's Vagram's first stream as affiliate. Fight me. Ah, you people are wonderful and I love you all. Okay, we have five neutron activators. Um. Yay! Uh, solar neutron twidulators, or whatever they're called. Well, I'm instantly knocked out of the competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, is it actually your first streams affiliate? Yes, it is, Ichan. It is my first. I became affiliate last night. It's the wrong trousers. Yes, exactly. It's Ohai Ichan. Yes, but I'm an American. I have to butcher it. You have to understand this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tom McBlom says, LOL. Um, okay. Nuclear discombobulators. Wow, that was hard to read. Discombobulators. Oof. Honestly, though, I'm, I should get some sleep soon. Wait, are you still up? Isn't this normally the time that you wake up and go to work? All the vowels are meant to be said, says Birdcraft. At least I still have bronze. Oh, Ichun says, Steve! I don't know why. Um, <laughs> shouting Minecraft Steve's name. Okay, I'm just going to kerplonk these things down in here somewhere. And you can, uh, like... We'll leave them outside. What? Uh, we'll need we'll, we'll to put them outside. Oh. Um, Fine, I'll move them. Powered. <laughs> They're solar powered. Oh, they need to go outside, outside. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was just, like, some clever naming scheme. Okay. No, well, no, no, they are actually solar powered. Wait a minute. Um. Okay, that's under the west side of the lake. I know where that is. I mean, the west, uh, east side of the base. Entrance. We're going to go put some technical electrical things in water. It's gonna be glorious. Yeah. I know, right? Okay. Oh, maybe not. Uh, funnily enough, you remember our tree entrance to the basement? Oh yeah. I, is that directly over that? Box, are you in the basement still? Um, I am standing in the on the middle glowstone in that sponge room. Um, yep. Okay, awesome. I know exactly where we need to put these things. The entrance in. is right here. Yeah, so we can put these up on this island, right? This, our starter island. Yeah. Do they need to have a specific arrangement or just in the sun? Uh, just in the sun side by side, so. Okay. Like I can put a, uh... Oh, wait a minute. No. Uh, gas tank underneath behind it. Let's do... Three, four, five! There we go. Awesome. Hey, Donnie, there is 19 cryoducts in the system, and then if you're facing the reactor room... The cable into the room is underneath the right side of the door. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. If you're sick, you need to go get some sleep, Blom. We will catch you later. Thank you very much for stopping by and starting a bits fight. I'll take it. Bit war. I love you. Bit war. Um. Versus, <sighs> yay, safety. Um. Wait, do these things actually check for sky, or do they just need sun? Oh, crap. I have a problem. There's no sun above that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> our, big dumb, our big dumb base is in the way. Um, Let me see if I can get some podzel action. Where did my thing go? Oh, it's in my inventory. Because I'm blind! Um, Some hot podzel action. Okay, um... Okay, we can put them on the back side here. Um, gonna make a kind of a fake island chunk thing. Oh, yeah. Um, let's do that. And then over here, and then... Nope, you're sticking wrong. You're in the wrong place, buddy. Okay, um... Because sometimes symmetry is... Sometimes symmetry is bad, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, do we need more cactus green? I just threw the cactus that we had into a uh, smelter. Okay. I'm We're gonna... gonna need more cactus. I'm harvesting. I'm harvesting. Boing. Ooh, can you pick out the string that's over there? I can do so. Probably just for my kids, it's hard to tell. So, your kids are mutant spiders, says, <laughs> says Aishun. <laughs> Nothing to worry about at all. Um, I agree with, uh, by the way, I can't remember if it, was you, if it was you, Blom, or if it was Rorax. I think that they should do a Fallout game set in Australia. Um, I'm terrified about what's in normal Australia. Post-apocalypse Australia, I, it's like beyond my wildest nightmares.
I'm kind of interested in Fallout 76, but at the same time, not really. Okay. Let's get this thing. And put that in the system. I'm going to... Put these back out, but I'm going to put them way back here. I think. Nope, wrong way. Ah. Okay, they're on the back side of the island and actually have direct sky access now. What? Well, aside from glass. Hopefully that won't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully those won't mess with things. I think I've seen those things under glass. What am I doing? I can just go down this way. Should be fine. Um, glass looks in light. It's not it better be. Or something. Um, half mutant spider, half... Uh, my partner is half mutant spider, too. <laughs> Actual drop bears. Exactly. It's too early to tell what Fallout 76 will actually be. Actually, no, it's not. There's been an article put up on a couple of websites of people that have been talking to developers for the game. Uh, Bethesda developers, and right now, basically, it's going to be akin to Rust or Seven Days to Die or other other survival games. It is going to be you in a fresh new wasteland, quote unquote, 25 years after the bombs drop, and you're going to be trying to survive, and you're going to have to learn uh, recipes and stuff like that. You'll be set within a specific environment and trying to survive, I'm guessing, um, enemy raiders or uh, maybe some early forms of some of the mutations and stuff like that. And uh, while, you know, generally making your... It's going to be, I think, a expanded version of the base building that they shoehorned in to Fallout 4. Um, that, that's, that is basically what all the articles describe it as um, that I've seen. Wow, that sponge is super ugly. Um, Blame the stream. Yeah, I know, right? Um... That's not how genetics work. What? Berg says mutant Tasmanian devils would probably eat death claws as mild snacks. Uh huh. Yeah, I think so. Probably. Um. Oh, Atomic Bomb says I'm so happy I can play multiplayer with the wifey thing. Fallout is the only game she'll play. That's interesting. Um. Berg, I kid you not, a Tasmanian devil would seriously eat a death claw without being mutated. <laughs> Part of old says I'm off to bed Work tomorrow Grats on Affiliate Bay Good night Thank you very much Downey Have a good evening So you're basically saying Fallout 76 will be a parody Of your wasteland, wasted mod pack Um Yes Question mark Oh sure <laughs> I, I, I I kind of think that Um Uh You know Their idea of the whole wasteland thing Came before we got a hold of it But Uh Technically speaking, I all think I think it all kind of goes back to Mad Max and um, and Road Warrior movies, and those were Australian. So, uh, what are you doing? Doing filter. Oh, you have to set the filter for it, right? Okay. Yep. To which Foxbot says "cheater" in all caps. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Fox, go working to make more ducks. I am. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to. The the outside again. Uh, Berks is angry. Ever since the stream like, started, I've made like almost over half a stack. Good. We'll need them. Only half a stack? Only half a stack? You're falling behind, Fox. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna take me a lot longer now that we are out of obsidian. Uh, do I need to go get some? I, I'd rather do it. Okay. I have a oh. trick to doing it. <laughs> I need more chest. Is, is it called creative mode? No. No, God, no. <laughs> it's called a lava lake. Quick, do it in Vrena. Pirate Knight says, one says, go for the eyes, boo, go for the eyes. Wait a minute. Is that you, Night Pirate? What's up with a different account name? I've never seen Mad Max as Atomic Blom. What? Are you serious? I should fix that one day. We watched it. Actually, we watched both movies. Uh, the first one and the second it's been one. It's a while since I watched it. Um, uh, yeah. Probably just a normal drive to work. It's a boring movie to him. I've seen Crocodile okay. Dundee. I saw that movie once in the 80s, and I regretted it. Um, oh, a different name on Twitch. Yeah, thank you. Um, 
Bethesda and Mojang have always had this love-hate relationship, notched pickaxe in Skyrim, lawsuit over scrolls, so it makes sense they do a survival game. Um, all of the things that I've seen them reference, all the conversations I've seen them have in these articles, the developers reference specifically games like Rust and The Forest and Seven Days to Die and things like that, where uh, I think Forest is going to be the biggest example, the best example, or maybe Seven Days to Die, where you've got the, wa- the waves that kind of happen of bad guys. And I think the longer you stay in an area, the worse and worse and worse it might get. That's a theory. I don't know that that's proof, but... I'm, from what I've read on these articles, like The Verge had one, and um, I don't cite them as being real journalism, but Kotaku had one. Um, I've never seen Mad Max, e- Mad Max either. He says, and I quote, there's a second one? What? Now I know that Aichun's screwing with me. Yeah. I have two Twitch accounts, one through Facebook and one through Twitch Minecraft access. Ah, okay. Cool. Well, I know who you are, so that's easy. Um... So you have a tank, and these things are going to be doing what? We, oh, we have to pipe something into this. Yeah. Uh, oh, you God. Have a tank down here. Jeez, there's more underneath lithium. it. Yep. So the lithium from downstairs gets pow- piped up here. Do I yep. need to go, do I need to go a burrowing? Um, I'm just, I figured I was just going to do a uh, network transmitter and receiver. Network transmitter and... For uh, refined storage. Oh right, yeah, that's actually probably a way better solution. Um, okay, so we're gonna have that stuff getting piped into the bottom tank. They hit these things, and the solar action, the the neutrons, will intermingle and dance and cause what? Tr- what is it that comes out the top of this thing? Uh, tritium. And that's what we It'll pipe into the actual front. reactor. It'll pump into this, which then we pump into the reactor. Yeah. Okay, that's mildly terrifying. Awesome! <laughs> Things are happening. Things are happening. Hey, Kiro, are you off your PS4? Yeah, there's four. Technically speaking, there's, uh, what is it? Road Warrior, Mad Max, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, and then the new, um, uh, oh god, what was it called? Road Warrior, um, 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 something road. I can't remember what it's called. I've not watched all of them. I've I've legit not watched all of them. I don't watch stuff. Yeah, you're busy getting educated. Um, they have them on Amazon uh, movies, Amazon Video here in America. I don't know about overseas though. Licensing completely changes on all that stuff when you get out of out of America. Um, yeah, Fury Road, there we go. The re- It's technically not really a reboot. It kind of is, but it isn't. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's Mad Max 2. No. There's Mad Max or The Road Warrior. I that, that, think that's the same movie, right? And then there's Mad Max 2, and then, yeah, Mad Max 3, which is Beyond Thunderdome, and then Fury Road, which is supposed to be kind of a reboot, but it continues some of the stuff that got started in the earlier movies. I don't know. It's like a a half boot or something. Um, Okay. Uh, Do you need me to do anything else, Eridani? Make stuff? Uh, Yeah, the network transmitter receiver. Right. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Okay. At refined store. Actually, I'm just going to do network transmitter. Um, What are those bottom things? Oh, advance. Okay, I know we have some of this on. Uh, don't need that many, but hey, whatever. Half boots, what peg leg pirates wear. Thank you, Berg. Um, uh, Kira says, I was hitching due to bad internet. Phone internet's better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, <laughs> pirate says, I, hear, I see you're getting network training. Cool. Ah, ha, ha. <clears throat> um, Wait, there we go. What? We have an infinite transmitter now, don't we? Yes. Okay, I'm stealing this network receiver right here. Wait, what? Where? Ooh, where? Oh, no, wait. Making... We have to replace the infinite one because they're going to update it and remove it. Yeah, the infinite one's getting removed, remember? That's right. 
Yeah, so there's stuff that basically there are features that are getting removed from um, refined storage uh, because the author is going to be doing a pruning and a cleaning to uh, simplify the mod and stream things down a lot. Boo hiss. That sucks because we are going to be getting stuck uh, um, probably having some of those effects going in about two or three updates into Coop Life, and I'm not going to be happy about that one. Yeah. Um, they're working on another Mad Max movie. Yeah, I heard that. And yes, Foxbot is in here somewhere. Uh, Mad I'm Max, here. then the Road Warrior, then Thunderdome. Yeah. Also, hi, Pops. How you doing? Um, whew. Okay. Now I need to make some of those. Glowst? Really? Oh, okay. Actually, we have a whole bunch of block glowstone. Not a whole bunch of powder glowstone. Let's go upstairs. Habitat. Habitat. Uh, uh. Um... Birdcraft says, had a blast with the game, though I should go back and do a series on it. I was actually going to do a series on the game, but I kind of found it repetitive. It's a fun game, but in terms of, you know, like unique content or whatever, after about two or three hours, it's basically the same stuff getting repeated over and over. The storyline is cool, and I would do it for storyline, but I wouldn't do it for game features. There'd be a lot of stuff I would probably leave out. It is a good game, though. I had a blast with it, uh, the Mad Max game they came out with. Um, why another movie? No new stories in Hollywood. Um, well, no, they're writing a new script, Night Pirate, for uh, for uh, that particular franchise. Jen says, was that a portal? <laughs> you mean this? No, that's not a portal. We don't have portal guns in this pack. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, you're Pig. You're seeing things. Pig, you're seeing things again. I love how he, I, I love how he said that in all caps. By the way, was that a portal? Not a portal. <laughs> not sure if joking or not. Yes, it is a portal. We actually do have your mod, and it's been behaving and working wonderfully. Not portal guns. Portal guns. See? Dun dun. -dum. Works fine. Works like a champ. No complaints. No problems. Uh, except for Vix Modern Warfare. <laughs> Yeah. We definitely didn't modify the recipe. <laughs> nope. No, we didn't change the recipe at all. I'm going to add portals to my decal mod now, says Atomic Blom. Please do it. It's broken. I have to fix a bug. What bug? Is that a poop? A poop? A poodle? What? No, that's not a poodle. I can definitely confirm that. We don't have purdle poodles anywhere in this pack. Just don't use it in multiple dimensions. It doesn't work. Like, it does nothing. Yes, we tried that already. We tried to connect Overworld to the Nether, and you just you hit a solid wall. You can't go through. So, too late. <clears throat> too late. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back to... Boodoo? There's a zombie, but I don't see him. Oh, that's because he's over there. Hello, um, village zombie. Basement 2. Electric Boogaloo. Um. Okay, I was doing Coors, not the beer. There we go. Let's keep for Don't put pairs of portals myself. in multiple dimensions. What do you mean? They accidentally override each other. I only found that bug a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we couldn't get one to work cross dimensions, so eh. We stopped right there, didn't try again. Yeah. Didn't know what was causing it. Where are you hiding Foxbot Gaming? He's working on stuff, Night Pirate. I am in a lava pool that's a lot larger than I expected it to be. Hey, we need the obsidian, so. Okay, do you, do you still need this network transmitter and receiver? Yeah, I do. Okay, should I put the transmitter just down here somewhere, or what? It might as well. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Hooray! And, oh, we need a network card, don't we? Yep. Network. Nope, we don't have that on the speed dial. 
Wait a minute, was it just there? It was just there. Uh. Boop. And then I think I come out to you. Um, basement one. Put this thing down and then right click that. Beer. Now there's a good idea, says Low Res Gamer. Eh. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to burn to death. I'm just going to plonk, plonk this thing down here. I live. I live. Um, I live. Okay. Your network receiver block is up there. Don't move it ever, ever, ever. Yep. Um, basement tomb. <clears throat> yeah, he is in lava. Yes, I think literally. Um, 46 blocks. That's going to cost us a pretty penny on power. Uh, which is what we're making. We have a whole bunch of neuropazine that we need to ditch. Um, have you seen it? Maybe we should probably add it to that filter for that, uh, nullifier. That yeah. Dump all the iron ore, too. I don't, the only purpose it's got is if you go overboard on the cyberware stuff, and I don't think I'm ever going to push that limit that hard. No, I, even I don't. And I tend to do a hard time. A blue and, a uh, blue and orange portal in the overworld and a blue and orange portal in the nether. Uh, oh no, we, we actually have all, I think we have different colors. Don't we? Not sure. Yes, every single one created creates a unique color ID. Yeah, we have unique color IDs on ours when we created them, so we don't have overlapping colors. So we couldn't actually do that if we tried. Uh, Box, I think, is underground as you cannot pour water. He's getting obsidian, and you can't pour buckets of water in the nether. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just underground. If yeah. Bakram zooms out his uh. map, he can see me on the edge of his map. Um, okay, uh, Berg says, well, off to bed, early day tomorrow. Good night, Berg, thank you very much for stopping by. I give up on explaining LOL. No, I do get it. You're talking about having one blue and one orange portal in the overworld and having a different blue and orange portal in the nether. We can't actually do that specifically because we have different color sets. Only, I think I'm the only one that has blue and orange, I think. But that's, that's okay. That's you're we the first person to craft them. Yeah, it's 10 a.m. right now. Um... But yeah, that's that's not a problem. We don't do cross-dimensional stuff anymore because we didn't get the first set to work, so we just gave up. So that's good to know that there's a bug there, but it probably will not affect us. Um, okay, awesome. Let's go back outside nonetheless i'm trying now that i think about it i think there's something different different with what the way the portal guns work oh i don't know so and mine... i'm starting to understand what he's warning about i mean he said don't use it cross-dimensionally that was a pretty succinct answer to me i <laughs> don't don't no. try to cross That's... cross dimensional you know whatever's so i'm okay yeah, with that oh hang on a sec uh Not anymore. Ha ha ha. Um, here's your eight speed upgrades. I'm just going to barf them out on the floor. Blah. I'm also going to go sleep real quick. So if a player used a gun to set a pair of portals in the overworld and then tried to set a pair of portals in the nether with the same gun is what causes the problem. I don't know. I'm going to say yes. That's what I thought. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, okay. I haven't tried that. Um, I was gonna do a thing, and I can't remember what thing I was gonna do. Let's You're go up to have it. Yes, it was good. Thank you, dear God. Um, got distracted and forgot. I'm, the, I'm swimming in lava, and I'm the one that remembered that. That's how I understood it, Pops, says Atomic Bomb. LOL. Well, don't try it, Vagram. I won't. I mean, basically, we only use it in the overworld. I tried once to make a portal in the overworld connect to the nether, and it didn't work. It was just kind of a test thing. And that's when I stopped using them outside of the overworld. I, I, the only place that I use these is this goes to the the farm. See? That's it. Um, we had one that went to the nearby town, 
But that's all same dimension. So yeah. Hey, Wraithless, what's going on? You going to work? Happy hunting. Um, it seems to work as long as the server. Getting... Am I getting what? Is Vagrum Vagrum getting robotic? Am I? A little bit, yeah. Robotty. Robotty. Ro Robotty. Robot. Um, I am not losing frames. Um, is anybody? Uh, the stream still looks okay. That was my worry. Was you sound off to me on Discord, and then the stream's per perfectly fine. So yeah, you uh, it out for me to Vox, so I think it's I'm actually starting to hear it with you guys a little bit. You sound okay on Twitch, says Low Res Gamer. I'm expecting it's something having to do with Discord. They had two different days where they had problems for about 30 minutes earlier this week, so... Eh. Seems fine to the stream. Must just be to Discord. Yeah, yeah. So, we can start using hand signs or something. I don't know what. Um... Signals. Yeah. Uh, okay. Slept. Let's go. Actually, I need to check and see real quick. Need to go in our maintenance space. Okay. No, my satchel! <gasps> oh. Did you throw something into the lava? I just threw my satchel with a lot of important stuff in it. Well. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Like my guns. Oh. I keep all mine in my little ender pouch thing. That's why I use that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's why I, that way I can't be a klutz and do what Fox just did. <laughs> just did. Um, I, I've got it before. I mean, I'm sorry to hear that, Fox. That is awful. He's going to hit me when he sees me next. I probably will. They have smacking rights because I'm a smart ass sometimes. It's okay. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Only I know, sometimes. I know, I know. Only sometimes? Um, okay. Let's go back to the entrance. I'm gonna go poke her down here with a stick. Boop. Whoosh. Yeah, that was your instant. It filled that tank up of tritium almost in. So. Wow. That's the output tank, right? The tritium is the output end. Yep. That seems good. Yeah, they're full on lithium. Full on tritium. I think all the things are... Oh, God. Full also. Oh, they, they, doing. Yeah, they are. Wow, these things topped out quick. Yeah, they did. Whew, okay. That's awesome. Um. Oh, I put this at the wrong end. Ha uh -huh. Oh, well, whatever. Um... I wonder. <laughs> uh, squids can burn in water with a laser gun. It's great. Okay. I'm going to come over here and do a little bit more harvesting real quick. While I wait for Mr. Eridani to tell me something else to do. Um, I have never used yeah. these reactors before, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Electro I have to say, oh, hi, Aaron Donnie. Oh, hi. Hello. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do more string harvesting. Uh, even though we have sheep now. What? I'm so confused. What's new, Fox? What's new? I took, like, two hearts worth of damage while I was going through a viaduct. Uh, I have had that happen before, and I've not been sure why. Snippy, snippy. It's time for a haircut, Mr. Sheepies. <laughs> boing. Boing. We put this up. We just walk through El Portal. Do, 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 do. <laughs> 114 buckets of lava. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go back down to the basement. Uh, nice shot, right. says low res. It was a stationary squid. Eh. Oh, that's right. The, the, the energy upgrade so I can need the separators anymore. Nope. Thanks, mechanism. On the electrolytic separators? Yep. Yeah, they, they took out a whole bunch of the upgrades because they thought that the, the hydrogen, hydrogen power system should be power 
what was it, one-to-one? -one? As much power as you put in is what you should get out? Yep. Why don't I just get the power I'm putting into it and put it straight into whatever I'm powering with hydrogen? Just take hydrogen out of the loop. I don't see the point in it anymore. It's it's dumb. It's really dumb. Well, John McBlom says, hashtag reasons why I like Vagram. He's a smart arse. Um, <laughs> mm. Copy. Uh, row of fish traps, cool. Yes, we actually do have fish traps up there that we were using to stock the kitchen some. 114 buckets of lava, was it worth it, Box? Asks Low Res Gamer. At the cost of a... Signalum bag full of my everything. No. Yeah, that wasn't that that cost was not worth it. Cause signalum enchanted signalum bags can hold a lot of stuff. It wasn't even enchanted. Oh. My only enchanted signalum bag is locked away and it's being used as chisels and bits. I have a box full of old stuff. I do have a diamond purple a purple diamond shulker box. I thought it was interesting that iron chests let you upgrade shulker boxes now? I have nothing in it, but I got it. Um, oh. I think, uh, oh, I'm one thing I need to do is go deposit this experience upstairs. Um, the, uh, one thing that thermal expansion kind of does is make certain aspects of vanilla look bad in one aspect, that is, uh, caches and, uh, not caches, Strong boxes and satchels. Strong boxes and satchels are w way better than, you know, getting into mid game or whatever late game and going to the end and defeating the dragon and getting a shulker box. So, deposit in my experience. I need to check and see. I still have tons of food. Oh. Tonight's yeah. project's reactor. Yep. Is it Star Clux Coffee? Yeah, I ran out of Star Clux Coffee. I need to go get more. Um, and yeah, tonight's project is basically getting the reactor up and going so that we don't... Oh, there's that creepy hum again. Makes my teeth itch. Um, and so we don't have to worry about uh, power blinking on us so much because we'll have to switch off. Um, okay. We have a dilemma. Is this the infinite wireless thing? Yeah. We need to retrofit that because we're going to lose it at some point in the next month or so. Um, and we just made it, too. Yes, we just made it. We just got it. And It'll make, happen. It's like, yep, nope. I'm going to make the Ender Dragon talk some. Um, I have a lot of things that I have to... Not me specifically, but we... Sorry. That we have to fix over the... Before the updates. Yeah, uh, we need to... Um, well, okay, one thing is we need to retrofit the power system and redo probably some of our duct work in the base. Um, like, just, just simplify the networks, you know, to make sure we don't have any power loops going. Um, we need to change out some of our stuff in refined storage. Primarily, I think our crafting wall is going to have to change, which makes me wonder if we need to bring storage reborn into the actual mod pack. But then there's the question of, is that even going to continue working? Whereas <laughs> Gamer says, Ender Dragon, I thought that was a hungry hippo. It looks like it, doesn't it? Um, okay. Oh, I'm stealing things from you again. That's ah, fine, it's a stone. Boop. See, so there's, what, 29 power cables in there? 29 Wait. cryo ones? Yeah, the cryo ones. Alright. Thankfully, I don't need those. This little thing, but. Um, Celestial Crystal. Yeah. Okay. So, this is what's coming in from the upstairs rig. No, this is just hydrogen, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, this will be being used to uh, make deuterium from uh, heavy water. Oh. Wait a minute. Water into the electrolytic separator is oxygen and hydrogen, right? So you get the hydrogen yep. and, you, and you do what with it to turn it into heavy water? Um, Actually, to get heavy water, you just stick a filter upgrade into in the pumps. Oh. Okay. I have them, but I just haven't put them in yet. Um, 
Mm. I was about to ask if you wanted me to go make those. A filter. What? Filter this, upgrade. This is a fusion reactor, which basically means we are jamming two atoms together to make power. Um. <laughs> Night Pirate says, uh, Ender Dragon head alarm system. That would be very cool. Player detector into the uh, head if it starts 12. chattering. Did you, already, did you just make some? Make some what? I haven't made any yet. Okay, good. Then don't. I, I just pulled a mine. I just got 12. <laughs> okay, you just need to run and empty out of water because for some reason you've got water. Don't mix your heavy water with your holy water. I think you've been watching too many sci-fi movies there, low res. <laughs> um, I, I, I have not seen that particular movie yet. Um, okay. And you know, for something called heavy water, it's not that much heavier than normal water. Uh, no, maybe like a couple of like micrograms heavier. It's, it's okay. an extra neutron. Okay, so you need to... Um, for some hmm. reason, when these got made... Oh, I know why. Because of that, in that wireless system for power that feels like batteries. It was filling these pumps with power, so the instant I put them down, they started pulling up water. Oh. Oops. So I have to wait for them to clear out their system. Atomic <laughs> Vampires. Not quite. Also, hi, Kugas. How was Destiny 2... I'm betting that's where you've been. Um, I'm gonna check a beep that came in on my phone real quick. I already know that. Why are you telling me this? Okay, awesome. Um, it's like 10% more atomic mass. It says cuts. It's tiny, yeah. Also been here, I was the poodle line. Oh, right! I'm sorry. <laughs> Shows how much I'm paying attention. I missed the D2 stream last... That was last night, yeah. We had fun. You can watch it in uh, VODs, on-demand stuff, if you want to. That's one thing I'm not going to do, by the way, just the whole Twitch affiliate thing and subscriptions. There are channels that lock off watching their archives behind subscriptions. I'm not going to do that. I don't really like the idea of gating access like that uh, with the subscription system. I'm just going to basically consider it if you want to support me, you're doing that to support me and the content that I make, and I will be grateful for that. Otherwise, you know, uh, you will have access to everything and you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Um, okay. Yeah, we did have fun, says Trunks. Trunks was there. He stayed up late for us. Goofy Americans. Well, late, I say. I think that was his normal late, not a special late. Because I don't think he sleeps. Um, Trunks is on the short list of people I think are robots from the future. <laughs> I swear, I, I have lost track of the number of times where it should have been outside of Trunks' normal, like, hours, and, and he's awake for several days in a row. It's baffling. It's like he doesn't sleep. Whereas <laughs> Gamer says, actually, it's from an old sci-fi story, Martians go home, prussic acid, heavy water, holy water, and... And flit. Yeah, Trunks said it's been my normal late for the past few months. Yeah, yeah. I'm just planning on finishing the storyline at the moment, and we will see then from there. Yeah, a very nice person got me the uh, DLC, the season pass for Destiny 2. So we will actually have some new stuff that we can start doing on next Wednesday's uh, live stream for it. Um, so each one of these pumps... Um, okay, yeah, the water is diminishing. Has a, a filter upgrade in them. And you just need one, yep. right? Just one. Okay, a filter that separates heavy water from regular water. So this will soon change, and it now says heavy water. But it definitely pumps them a wee bit slower. Um, it's, instead of you getting like a bucket every cycle, you get 10 millibucket cycle. Yeah, so this is a lot slower, hence the speed upgrades going into machines. But, um... 40 RF per tick. That's not bad. Okay. Um, so all the heavy water gets pumped down here. 
And it goes into this thing, which has water in it still. Yeah, I'm guessing, we'll wait for it to clear out. I'm guessing some of these are... Or there's some in the pipes or something. Oh, water. There we go. Got ethylene production going. I want to make sure, because I had stuck a couple of speed upgrades into that separator, just to make it go quicker. For now, just sit for it to empty. Okay, here we go. It's going through the line, each pump at a time, emptying them out. So we've got two left. This one and the one next to it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think we can do that, Cuts. Actually, I think we can make okay. them regular. I'm not sure. Is it... There we go. Permit, not allow. I think my new chained activation of weird and gadgets is working. What odd witchcraft are you doing with that mod now, Mr. Blom? Also, how's the fuel <laughs> how's the fuel thing coming? That was an upgrade that we specifically asked for at one point. And uh, I'm very very um Yeah, rip cuts exactly. Why did it get I'm a little confused as to what's going on here. What? Oh, Trunks timed out cuts. <laughs> oh, okay, hang on a second. I need to fix that. Hold on. It's a default duration. Uh, let me pull up the bot screen real quick. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's glorious. Um, I think. Um, yeah, I. It doesn't even have a setting. Oh, there we go. I see where it is. Here. Um, so I solved that problem on that end. Now I need to figure out where I can go. How do we untime out somebody? Can't. You can't? Oh, okay. From what I've known, you cannot. Um, well, Mr. Cuts, I am sorry. You're going to have to sit this one out for a little while. Um, it's only five minutes. It's only five minutes. Where is it? 600 seconds? That's 10 minutes. Oh. 60 seconds is a minute. 600 seconds is 10 minutes. Failed the math. I'm used to being at 300 seconds, Got not it. 600. Slash on timeout. Oh. Oh, somebody else did it already, I guess, or something. Okay. Yeah, ultimate. Hopefully, cuts will come back in here in a minute. Um. I just turned off the link blocking. Honestly, we don't have a problem with it, so... Yeah, um, okay. Let me get out of the heavy water production unit. And liquid deuterium. Hooray! How much of the stuff Yay! do we need? <laughs> yeah, how much of the stuff do we need? I'm not sure. We, um, have, t we have ten buckets of it already. That seems, uh, that seems good. Okay. Uh, network. Welcome back, cuts. There. <laughs> Post a link to Shockside. Don't make me boot you, Achan. Yeah, if you set them to mod, they were. Oh yeah, that's another thing. He's actually supposed to be. 
A moderator. That's another mistake. No, of course. And the link is to the <laughs> Vagrim <laughs> Shades. Throwing Shade. Thank you very much. It's funny. Um, he's definitely throwing shades, his dummy clom. Mallrat says, Tremble in fear. For now, I have Wi Fi. Uh oh. Hi, Mallrat. Welcome back to the fun. Okay. We're making nukes. I mean, nuclear reactors. Yeah. Fusion. Um, speaking of reactor, we don't have one yet. Yeah, I have the bottom of it. So, okay, we're going to have to pipe in the deuterium and the tritium. Tritium. And that actually starts the reaction. Um, yeah, we'll need those. We'll need a little gold hole rum to put in the controller. And then we need to shoot a laser in the, in the back of the reactor. How do you spell hull rum? H O L? Uh, H O H L. Oh, there it is. I'm going to go make one. Unless you made one. Oh, no, not, not yet. Metallurgy confuser, coal and pulverized gold. Ooh, I have to go upstairs. La di da. Nuclear. Nuclear. Nuclear, yes. Um, yes, my wife is not here or watching. I can say that safely and joke about it. Um, I thought she was watching. No, no, no. She was earlier. She had to step out and go to work. She oh. is. There is a. Uh, she she drives for Lyft, and so periodically there will be like a big concert. That she'll get a notification for or some major sporting event. Normally, she works in the mornings because people going to work or going to airport in the mornings or whatever, it's steady, it's consistent, and she makes great money. But periodically, they'll have some like major sporting event or something over at the uh, uh, NRG Sports Complex or whatever it is where the, where the um, uh, football team plays. And uh, uh, some big event will be happening over there. And she can make lots of really good money working major events like that. So she is out driving. The horum starts the reaction with the lasers and the deuterium. Wait, lasers? We had to make a laser array so we can shoot it into the uh, reactor. Uh, okay. Love shooting things into the reactors. Um, <laughs> have you made those lasers yet? Uh, not yet, no. Should I make them? Probably. Okay. Um, cool. Oh, boy. More steel casing! Yep, we're we're probably gonna have to make some steel. We have to make an automated steel casing thing. <laughs> enriching chamber. Let's enrich all the chambers. Um Let's see if it shows up there. It should show up there. I need to get the coal, then the pulverized gold. Actually, let's do gold. Gold. Thirty. Thirty-five. Okay, that's being slow. Um, enriched. Wait a minute, coal. What is it called? I think it's like compressed coal or something. Compressed carbon. That's probably what it is. Wait a minute. What's the output? of coal in the enrichment thing, isn't it? Uh. Yeah, okay. Compressed carbon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there they are. They're starting to show up now. Yay. Oof. Thought something was going on. Um. <laughs> where's the rad walls and the warning signs? We don't, we don't go that way. We might put some some uh, fancy striped tape on the floor, but that's about it. Um, I bet the sponge walls are super absorbent. You betcha, Mallrat. The stream <laughs> voted, and uh, thus I declared it. Lores says, I thought everyone in Texas pronounced it nuclear. No, and believe it or not, everyone in Texas doesn't own a gun. Um, what town are you in, Vagram? Houston and or Dallas, because two of the OWL teams are in Texas. OWL teams? Uh, I didn't know we were getting Harry Potter stuff over here. People taking their OWLs? What is he talking about? I have no idea. 
What's an owl team? I'm in Houston, for what it matters. Houston Outlaws. Oh, Overwatch League. That's not O-W-L. That's O-L. Overwatch is one word. If you're abbreviating something, do it right. <laughs> that Yeah, if it's Overwatch Pro League, it would be O-P-L. But OWL is Overwatch League. Not Overwatch League. I hate it when people do that. That's not you. I think they did that themselves. Okay. Um, advanced infusionating device. I'm going to put one of those in there. And see how far that gets me. Um, I will need a chemical infuser. What? Where? This machine just stopped working. Which one? Uh, advanced infusion factory. It's got power. It just, like, stopped. Uh, which one is it? The one up in the half tap? Yeah. Uh, we go. It's, it's got... It's got power, it's got carbon in it, and it started processing gold and then suddenly just boom, shut down. Uh, Do I need more? I think, yeah, I think you need more carbon. Oh, I see what's um, going on. No, no, no. I had, I put a, one thing in there for 100, and that was fine. I see what's going on, I think. Hang on a sec. Yeah, okay, it needs four at oh, a time. There you go. It subdivided it out into, oh, God. Okay, Um. I'm going to get more gold. More gold. Oh goodness, I don't know how to cap off the uh, tower. Oh, are you working on the uh, uh, the the uh, tower upstairs? Yes. Cool. Awesome. <clears throat> we can come see it here in a little bit. Um. I'm nowhere near done. I just don't know how to do the roof. Uh, you're gonna do a kind of a uh, we'll basically take it up to a, just a flat, a completely flat level. You know what I mean when I say crenellations? When you look at the, like, anytime you see a movie that takes place in medieval times and they're showing a castle wall and it's got the kind of the up block, down a block, up a block, down a block things and dudes lean out between the actual crenellations and fire with bows. Oh, yeah, I know those. Yeah, yeah, just make a roof like that. I was going to put the solar panel up. We still uh, have this. Yeah, we need to put the solar panel up there. Yes, yeah, so we need to move it. 100%, 100%. Um, isn't Overwatch commonly called OW anyway? Not by me. I can't break the... Oh. Aerodonny, did you... Solar panel, because Aerodonny built it. Did you do the solar, pa the solar panel oh, way up yes. on the roof? Can you go... Um, use the assembler and ship right-click on each block. It'll auto-break it. The assembler is in the system. He just got it out. Never mind. No, it's locked to you. Uh -huh. uh, I I can't break the frame. Interesting. Uh, airlock. Um, Whee! four per item says pops. Yeah, he spotted the problem. It stopped because four per. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, orchestration. Also, hi. Um. Uh, modding overtime for sleep. Uh, by atomic blom. Get to feeling better. Um. Um. Uh, if you uh, think that your more. kids gave it to you, then go, you know, thumb your nose at them for me. Uh, I'll hit you up later to make sure the fuel stuff is how you think it'll work. Uh, I, uh, I think all you have to do is, like, break the centerpiece and it will... Unlock it? Unlock it. But yeah, get to feeling better, Atomic Blom. Okay, I picked that up. Huh, Crossbows to drop oil from them. No, we don't actually have any, uh... I just uh, break my hand. We don't have any way to drop the vats of oil off of the roof. I can break those, but I can't break that. There you go. As soon as you disconnected the rest of it from the controller, I could break it. I just oh. couldn't break it prior. I made a whole bunch of these things I wasn't supposed to. Oopsie. We have like 30 hall rooms in the system now. That's fine. <laughs> Oops, I, guess, I guess our reactor stalls due to uh, mechanism will have extras. Okay, a chemical... You need a chemical infuser? Infuser. Um... Gas tank. No. Gas tank. And I think I do... Uh... 
Uh, oh, we do not have basic, let's see, basic control circuits. Let's do 10 of those. And then enriched. I'm going to do something real horrible and wrong. I'm going to queue things up for crafting. I'm going to go upstairs and actually see if, see if it's going to work. 48 speed upgrades? Uh, four for each pump. Holy mackerel. So I just got done making 96 uh, energy upgrades. <laughs> Yes, you do dispensers and buckets. Actually, yes, we do actually have ways to dispense hot oil from the tower, but it would be the black oil, which is going to look really gross going down the side of a glass dome, so pass. I'd rather just stick m sniper turrets up there. Um, that's, that's me, though. Okay, did we get enriched? We did. Of course, and I have to accurate accurately find the center without knowing the center um it, uh just stick it as what looks as close to even as possible into the middle of the roof it doesn't have to be scientifically nanometer accurate or anything you need one chemical infuser or more one okay and lasers 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 i'm not sure yet um okay expensive though there's a laser amplifier, a laser oh, track. I will need some amplifiers. Okay. Um, laser, a panel of reactor glass that is capable of absorbing optical energy and therefore heating up the fusion reactor. So there's a laser focus matrix, which I'm guessing is going to have to be on the reactor, and each yes. laser points to the matrix. So, yeah. for, so, so have for, all the lasers pointing into like two separate main lasers well into two like of those laser amplifiers and then have the amplifiers pointed at the uh laser focus reactor so are we gonna have all the lasers going into one amplifier or like two amplifiers probably two okay you get two you'll you get two focus glass at a time so one amplifier on each side of the reactor please don't run out of steel please don't run out of steel Um, oh, we need more enriched. Ah! Why is this not making power? Because it's night. <laughs> I like for that uh, and sleep. Eh, that's night. I'll sleep. I'm sleeping. Need a trebuchet mod so you can launch barrels of pyrothium. That sounds terrifying. Awesome, but the, terrifying. What was the modifier for this? The piezo? Yes. Eh, eh, eh. I don't know how many of these we need. Um, nope. Go back. Get Amplifier. Back. <coughs> <coughs> what happened to my steel casings? Did somebody use them? I probably stole them. <laughs> I'm trying to make the react. Blarg! Okay, steel dust. All right, I'm going to craft uh, 128 more steel dust. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I just put I some... I just put some steel dust in the furnace to get some steel ingots. Is that okay or what? Oh, yeah. No, that, that's fine. I'll make more steel dust to put into the furnace smelter to make more steel ingots. Bah. Um, thank you. So much My part. steel. Hey, Mr. Rue, what's going on? There was a trebuchet mod for Mod Jam 5, says Aichan. Um, did it work? I'm intrigued. Could be fun. The, uh, Put it in Coop Life 2. We could trebuchet chickens. <laughs> HQ or industrial for this solar panel? Uh, I thought it was HQ for everything going in. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I probably can't actually right click these, not actually react. Um. One. Oh god, we need more steel ingots. Uh, yeah, so I, much... I, it's making more steel dust now, so. I'm gonna get another stack and run it through the furnace. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's put it in the powered kiln. Let's see what happens there. 
Powered kilns nice and fast. Okay, I have two laser amplifiers for you. And I have a chemical infuser for you. Uh, you said... Mr. Roo says, I am so hoop for, uh, hooped. Wow. I am so hyped for Coop Life 2. Also, hello, Pirate Knight. Um, uh, we have, I think, quests is the only thing we're waiting for, I think. Yes, and I've been trying to work on them. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're probably going to... Uh, there's distinct possibility that we will have a kind of a release candidate that will come out early that will technically be a beta of 1.0 that will not have the quests in it. And then when we actually let the pack launch or whatever and do the official public release, we'll have actually the quest in it or something. We'll have a release candidate, I guess is how it's going to be. Nothing more terrifying than a chicken with a trebuchet. <laughs> Low res gamer. Um, that would make for such better loading screen. No rockets, just a trebuchet. Chickens in space. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Roo says, fast travel with teleport. Be a chicken and trebuchet to your destination. Uh, I would I would probably make a really big mess in transit screaming at the top of my lungs if somebody <laughs> fired me out of a trebuchet. Chicken chicken or no. Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna need two laser focusing matrices. Ma I've already made them. Oh, okay. Um I have the lasers amplifiers. What's a laser tractor beam? Do we need to worry about that? No? Nope. Nope. Okay, laser. Did you make those yet? Not yet. I'm about to finish making the reactor. Oh, God. Okay, we need... I'm going to make... Uh, I don't know. Lasers. Okay, reinforced. Make a bunch of those, please. Thank you. Um... We need... Uh, can we make energy tablets on demand? Oh, we can. Hey. Actually, let's just go bonkers with these things. Actually, I'm going to wait. Once upon a time, we used to have a problem with refined storage. Oh, good. It's done. Where if you queued up a whole bunch of stuff at once, it would seize up. Or it would do it in the wrong order. Um, so... Zoom, I tell you. We are at one hour and 49 minutes into the live stream. We've actually got 15 minutes left on the clock. Sheep launcher. Who remembers from Vagrant's Chance uh, Season 3? Who remembers my sheep cannon? I was very proud of that concoction. I remember that concoction. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was awesome. I had an Ender IO pad teleporter right next to a sheep spawner. And I had the coordinates for some other guy's base when we were actually doing stuff with the Bromingos. Um, uh, I had the coordinates for the inside of their base. And their base was not chunk loaded at the time. So I was teleporting to a chunk that was unloaded. So when they logged in, suddenly it was just, boom, sheep explosion that would just start spreading out over their base and mash them against the walls. It was great. It was awesome. It was like, what happened? I loved that thing. Yeah, the sheep cannon was a great concoction. That was a, a great contraption. I mean, that was a... In season three of Vagram's Chance, when I was doing the the uh, the BDE, the Big Darn Egg, yeah, um, there will be another season of Vagram's Chance. I'm still deciding what's going to be single player or multiplayer. I kind of think it has to be multiplayer at this point, but I don't want to just make it a kitchen sink pack. I want it to have purpose. Um, yeah, it was great. The Trebuchet, exactly, Mall Rat. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Um, black laser. No, we don't need that. Um. Uh, let's get that one. How many lasers? Should I make like four or what? Um, We have two amplifiers. Can we do stuff into three of the amplifier sides? So six lasers, two amplifiers? Uh, Five lasers, two amplifiers. Well, uh, ten lasers. Ten? No. Well, one on each side, apart from the side that it fires out of. So see. These things don't stack. <laughs> um, find new, refined. There we go. 
I need more, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to wait for those to make. We will get this reactor turned on before the stream stops. So, oh my God. <laughs> um, do you have that on video? What episode of Vagrant's Chance Season 3? Uh, I think it was actually called The Sheep Cannon. I can't remember, though. But it's definitely... Yeah, it's on my YouTube channel. There's a playlist for Vagrant's Chance Season 3, and it is farther into the, like the halfway point or something like that because the Bromigos joined after we started, and I had the tower fairly built out, and I had the space in one of the labs in the central... Uh, area of I know here's a shocker I did a sky base <gasps> surprise and um I, know. I have a, I have a problem with sky bases I just have to uh but yeah you need one side of the main one free for a lever if I remember right says pops so you're um, you don't have to put a lever there I was about um, to say you're telling me we're gonna have a lever operated fusion reactor bleh. that sounds distinctly not high tech I have the opposite problem, says Mallrat. I tend to dig into cliff sides or underground. Yeah, I like underground bases. I like doing them, but I kind of like them better as a, when I can do them as a as a as a morph, like uh, as a chicken or something, because you can jam more stuff into a tight, tighter space underground. Um, Mallrat says I can't do houses. I kind of like sky bases because. Um, I have a hard time making a house that blends in with the landscape. All my stuff always stands out somehow. It's weird or strange or upside down or whatever the case may be. So sky bases, I can just kind of hang it in midair and not have to worry about the landscape because there is no landscape. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my thing. I'm making 10 lasers, by the way. I'm on number five. Okie dokie. Um, uh, I have to... Put the energy tablets in by hand because of you know well we can't have anything nice um uh oh wait a minute steel casings uh do you have that chemical infuser uh i do have it yes do you need it go ahead and throw it into the uh, system so i can grab it okay it's, i'm gonna put the laser amplifiers in there also oh. um laser l-a-z-o-r laser, uh craft steel dust on 64 pop of Lever operated fusion reactor. Pay no attention to the hamsters spinning the wheels in there. Exactly. Wraithless says only room for nine lasers, I think. I've got seven. So I only need to make two more. I'm what trying to think. We have two laser amplifiers. It's got six sides. It has to fire out of one side. So these five sides open. Ten. I don't know. In Coop Life 2, make a Coop Street space station. Oh, I have plans, Night Pirate. As a matter of fact, one of the things I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow is design ideas. Yes. We're going to be doing some building on tomorrow's live stream with the, Coops, with the uh, Coop Life 2 pack. And I'm going to be working on some preliminary plans for a base idea I've got. It's glorious. I also get to unveil the new theme. All this stuff that you see around me that... I do for the overlays and, you know, the pop-ups and all these things. I've been using a lot of Streamlabs uh, themes that they do, but I've also been trying to use some of their stuff and build some of my own stuff, and I have a really awesome theme that I've been working on for two weeks that gets to de debut tomorrow at 2 p.m. And I could not be a happier chicken, I tell you what. Uh, it's nighttime. I'm going to sleep real quick. Also, recent donations are supposed to show bits. I need to bug report that um let's put that in there and i need to do yep not yet give it a second silly question do you have a sub server still i do mr rue i not only have one sub server i have two i have a wasted server that we are playing on right now and there's going to be a coop life server what I might do is after the Coop Life server starts up, we might do a reset on the on the uh, Wasted server because we're the last ones playing on it right now. Pretty much, I think only maybe Poor Sapper and Wraith Listener are on it. And uh, I'm not sure if they're actively playing anymore. We don't have to. If people don't want to reset, they don't have to reset. But this, the world is up and it's nice and big and tons of it's been generated. So you could uh, step onto it and have some fun and uh, uh, cause some trouble. We're going to have the Coop Life 2 server going up as well. Two, four, six, eight. I can count. 
Uh, steel. Oh, wait a minute. That's what I was going to do. Duh. Steel casing. One, two, three. And then... We do this. I have to manually drag the energy things over. Um... But yeah, I do have two sub-servers. I will always have at least two. I have been looking into possibly making a free build third server, which I'm still going to do. But what I need to do is pick what pack I want to do it with and then trim it down. And I think I might do it with either Wasted or Coop Life 2. I think Coop Life 2 is going to be a better suited pack for it because there's a lot of stuff that we could turn off that we wouldn't really need. But if you wanted to, you could still go to other planets and do like a weird moon base build or whatever. Um, yes, it's going to be other planets in Coop Life 2. Chickens in space. Okay. There's a mess load of lasers going into the storage system. Here, Donnie. Whoa. Uh, unless you need me to build something else, I'm coming down to where you are. See what you're doing. Right. My eyeballs are burning from standing in this room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're going to be seeing sponge and end stone well into tomorrow. Um, I get on only rarely, says Mole Rat. Yeah. I, I'm, if people want, I could reset this server. The wasted server after we kind of end the series, which is probably going to be when Coop Life starts, which is why we're doing this to kind of get into the end game, so to speak. Um, the back of it has to be placed on a block. Oh, uh, well, once I have it set, I can rotate it. Um, oh. So, yeah. Um, Stack. Okay. Chemical infuser. Pressurized gas output into the infuser. Pressurized gas output. Output. Okay. Okay. Um, we learned a lot of lessons from Grimco R&D uh, and put those lessons forward into Grimco's Wasted. And I've been very pleased. Ow! What did you do? Did you stand... Did you stand in front of a laser? Uh, yeah, because the... Uh, you are so... Redstone charging. You are so smart. <laughs> um... Um... Uh... Anyway, we, we learned a lot of lessons from Grimco R&D. It was truly an experimental pack. And we put them into Wasted. And Wasted, I've actually been very proud of. Uh, Coop Life 2, I'm even more proud of. It is a step even further beyond what we did with uh, Wasted. We just we just had to directly bother far fewer mod developers in the process. So, yeah, free build server. I'm thinking about doing a free build server. Um, I don't know. I could do a vanilla free build server and open it up to everybody like Patreon and to subscribers if I wanted to here on Twitch. Aerodonny's on fire again. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh. Get the bucket of water, Fox. Fire. Huh? I said, get the bucket of water, Fox. He's on fire again. <laughs> um, I don't think placing a bucket of water in here would be a good idea. <laughs> no, I actually don't think so either. Um, it, uh, that sound from the uh, unshielded wires from Tech Reborn comes to mind. Um yeah. <laughs> That's a creepy sound. It makes my skin Whoa. crawl. Oh boy. Alien chickens. We're working on that. Kiss creepers. No, I'm not putting that mod in the pack. <laughs> um, people keep suggesting it. I'm like, nope. Design idea is cool. Do you find your volcano? And will you have chicken with sunglasses? We will. Thanks to a certain person by the name of TTFT Cuts and Mall Rat. Actually, two people with names. Um... I know it's a shocker. They both have names. Weird. Uh, they actually did an update for Chicken Shades for 1.12.2. So thanks to the both of them, we will actually have the capability of having our sunglasses and the Coop Street Mafia shall make a mighty return. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, yeah, and there's cuts. Um, Mallrat says, I, total I love that sound. I totally used Sed's exposed wire to make a oh, cow a killing factory. I have items. Yeah, I I do actually think that it's very cool that you can kill things with bare wire, and it makes sense, but it's still a terrifying noise. Uh, I mean, a cut says, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, um, Wraithless has just been busy lately. I can understand that. Um, but, oh, and also, Night Part, we have not found the volcano yet. That's another thing I kind of want to work on tomorrow. Um, I want to go I do some... This base building, and I want to see if I can find a volcano. That's weird. You're just firing I don't think this aimed down. I've got one aiming up. <laughs> so naturally, it should aim down. I'm just assuming it's mechanism being stupid. There we go. 
That's aiming backwards. That's All of them should be. That's Reset aiming into the amplifier. And that's the aiming. In, is where it shoots out. That's aiming at the sponge wall. Um, reload your chunks. Well, there we go. It's down now. It's down now. I see it. Yeah, I was having a problem if I was putting it down. The model was facing down my screen, but the actual model and the server was facing towards me. Oh. Zap, zap! Okay, now you get to go through that all over again. Isn't that awesome? This is awesome. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? You sound so happy. Um, so happy. So, are they going to try a configurator? I thought that's what he was using. That's what I was using. Yeah, that's what he was using. Those mechanism being weird. Will the parrots be Not able to match the? Surprised. Will the parrots be able to match the buzz sound? I actually don't know. That's worth asking or testing. We can get Hart to test it. She's been a parrot on the test server all the time. Um, so I think the reactor's running. No, it's not. There's no horror in it. Or fuel. So... <laughs> it's produced power. I think it's the laser shot into it, so it's produced a little bit of heat. Oh, that's probably why. Um... <laughs> reactor controller formed. Heat status. Plasma at 2.9K and falling. The case temperature is going down. Yeah, so it got a little bit of heat to produce power, and that's it. Fuel! None. If I plug this to output, do you want all three outputs plugged in? Oh, uh, no. Let's go Just get one. a Yeah, hole. one is power, one is Let's the input for water, and one will be output for steam once we don't do steam turbines. So the hall room would go in the reactor, or was it going the fuel injector, the chemical... Uh, We'll need we'll to put it in the chemical injector first to fill it with uh, a little bit of fuel. Then we'll put it into the reactor. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't know why that connected to the case. That shouldn't have connected to the case. It what? does. Um, the... We're at two hours. I don't care. We're turning the reactor on. I'm not stopping. <laughs> I wonder Thank if it's a leaching RF from the wireless transfer system. What, the fusion? Or the battery? Yeah, no. The problem Nitch. we had is that the uh, what you... the lasers were because they have an internal storage. So when I was putting them down, they were firing off. Yeah, so they have internal storage, and we have this thing that uh, called Flux Networks, which charges your stuff in your inventory. Oh God, something happened. Oh, I broke it. Way to go, Fox. It. It's fixed. Way to go, Fox. Way to go. I'll make sure it actually is fixed. Oh no, it's it says it says four. It says form. It says form, so. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Fox's fault. Fox has been blamed 18 times. Thank God I remember that command. <laughs> 19 times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Fox. Um, Not really, but poor Fox. Uh, not really, but oh well. Yeah. Mr. Roo, subscribe! Thank you very much, Mr. Roo. I appreciate it. So many subscriptions. I don't know what my count is at. I need to see if I can... Um, I get more emote slots if I actually... I'm at seven subscribers now. Wow. Three more and we can unlock more emotes. High pressure input. What does that say? Action shot? Okay. I have a hall room. If, if, uh, when yeah. Ready. Um, I'll the... Can you, uh, wire the RS into your box spot? Really quick. People are staring at things in their inventory. It's like sitting in a restaurant and everybody's staring at their phones. <laughs> Why am I more, yeah. less interesting than that glass brick? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I have to go make glass. Yay. It's it's not that I've actually heard that comment get made in the Starbucks before. No. Have a glass. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I just got done making like eight stacks of freaking glass, and we're already out. <laughs> you want me to make some? Or is that what you're doing, Fox? Glass. I just put three stacks of glass in the powered kiln. Most of both two, three stacks of sand, I'm assuming. Whee! Man, this room is pretty. It's, it's just amazing. Um, 
I built. I can't I, I tell. My eyes are melting. I will eventually want to move the wall back so I can stick some steam turbines back here. I have a. I have a really bad idea. Hang on a second. Do it. Do Please it. don't. Do it. The room's bad enough. Where's the uh? Where's the um? Exchanger. I hung it back up. Let me put it back in the system. Crap, we have one block. I was going to line the corners with purr -pur blocks from the end. <laughs> but but we have one block of it. Never mind. It's not important. Oh, well. We can put it in, in, in a corner. Yeah, a corner. Just to irritate people with the asymmetric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything new in the Star Clocks Cafe in the tower like Star Wings? No, I don't think so. For anybody that actually hasn't been here in a while, let me actually show off the observation deck real quick. Because it is some of this server's finest work, I must say, in decorative and interior design. <laughs> I.e., I had little to do with it. Um, well, I built the stuff, the space the stuff's in. We've actually got some snack machines right up here at the landing. Um, we've got a Chicken Joe machine, buffalo chips, and cow paisano, which sounds really weird. Sounds like an energy drink minute of cow urine. Um, we've got Star Clux coffee makers back there in the back. Espresso machines, and if you even walk up here, boop, coffee. Click the button, you get some coffee. Um, we've got our wonderful glass walkway so you can observe the rest of the dome and, you know, jump to your imminent demise if you want to. Um, various chunks of this base are definitely in violation of OSHA standards, but we don't dwell. Um... We've got our wonderful seating area directly across from here from where the Star Clocks is. So you can get your food and drinks and come over here. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually very proud of this. And then if we go over here, we can go up one step further to the airlock. And um, the airlock. Yes. The airlock. Um, A-I-R-L-O-C-H. <laughs> yeah, airlock. <laughs> We're Scottish all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> we've got an extra floor. There's a door up here. I don't know. There's door down. I broke a cable. That's fine. There's a cable there. There's a, there's a cable the, uh, there. Um, uh, we will actually have production. stairs going up these walls to the roof, probably. But basically, the whole point of this tower is so that you can kind of get up onto the roof of it and jump off and go sailing to a nearby city uh, via hang glider. Uh, these things. Jetpacks have hang gliders on them, so you can... You're gonna have to make more cables, but the ca there's cabling up to the door. Okay, I know I've got 28 cables in my inventory. So. Uh, cable hog. Cable hog. Okay, we're gonna go back down here, and then I'm going to do the ultimate in barf stimulation. Brace yourselves. I'm gonna spin to win while I go all the way down the people tubes, because it's hilarious. Ooh. Mmm, also lags my machine out like the dickens. Uh, there we go. Mora says, ideas worry me. Trunk says, please stop. Um, yeah. My pirate says, stop. spin to win! Stop it! Get some help. <laughs> yeah, I, yes. Oh, that's power. Um, okay, what goes in on this side that you just plugged in? That will be, uh, deuterium or tritium, doesn't matter. As long as we do it one on one side and one on the other. I'm gonna go check and see how much of that weird stuff we have. Uh, we have 105 buckets of deuterium. Whoa! Does it come in flavors? Do we know? Uh, maybe. Is is there like a chocolate deuterium? <laughs> I like I'll do some investigation. I like birthday cake heavy water. That's my favorite. Um. <laughs> Uh, Dark Preacher says, and back from the store in time for the end. Yes, we are going over a little bit. Dark Preacher, your, uh, your, your seat on the cheer billboard, leaderboards, got taken quite sternly by Atomic Blom. So, <laughs> I had started it, and yeah. then they took it from me. <laughs> yeah, Aerodonny started it, and Atomic Blom finished it. Um, yeah. So, once upon a time... While the, uh, the, the, the tech guys are finishing refusing. That has no power. Fine. Um, we can fix that. Um, we can fix that. There used to be this product that got sold by Nestle, of all people, called Water Joe. It, Nestle? It was Nestle or Coke? I can't remember. Might have been Coke. Uh, Coca-Cola. 
but it was called Water Joe, and it was water that it didn't, but it wasn't infused with electrolytes. No, no, no. It was infused with caffeine. And just so you know, caffeine actually has a taste all of its own. And there's a reason most stuff that have caffeine in it tastes very, very strong. It's because caffeine tastes like wet socks. It's gross. Um, so basically, they had this water that tasted like somebody had rinsed their laundry with it. And then they bottled it. And it was disgusting. It was on the shelves for two weeks and it disappeared forever. So yeah. every, every time I think about stuff like heavy water, I think it tastes like water joe. Okay, well, they power up to these lasers, and then we'll be ready to go. Trunk says, uh, the tech guys, you include Box in that description? <laughs> Box, do we need to retaliate on your behalf? <laughs> nope, he just left the room. Um, he left the... <laughs> <laughs> I count him in that regard. That's why I said the tech guys, because I wasn't doing anything. Uh... Come back, Fox, we need you. We need you. There we go. Blame Trunks. You can noogie him later. I really like these 3 by 3 tech doors. Tech guns doors. I like those doors. They well, auto-close. They, um, redstone energy flux ducts work for those lasers, or do you need a better transfer? It should be fine for now. Just get the reactor started. Because Trunks. once the reactor started, we won't have to fire the lasers again until it goes off. Trunks says, I broke box. Hooray! It's a tech guy. And need and a... more. Yeah, back. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a tech guy and a tech fox. That is actually accurate. Yes. This is actually accurate. Yeah, that's accurate. Is this thing powered on yet? now? it's got power. You guys saw our our, our wither oh, killing yeah. chamber. <laughs> Isn't this glorious? This it's mimicking. Amazing. It's mimicking diamond blocks. Still the idea from Soren of all people. Um. <laughs> yeah. There's just one time where. Um, he found it was storage drawers and engineers work workbench or something like that. He found an interaction between two mods where you could dupe stuff really easily and it was automatable and he was duping diamond blocks. And the way that he showed off that he'd figured this out is he built a diamond block house out front of Direwolf 20's base. It was tacky, but it was glorious. Um, the preacher says lasers. Um, there is a... Sh there's a shop within an hour drive of me that is still selling Water Joe after looking it up. Dude, that stuff's not made anymore. So that has been a crate that's been sitting somewhere in storage for literally at least a decade. Uh, it's like Jolt Cola. There was a period of time where there was convenience stores that used to... There was this um, knockoff Coke brand that was called Jolt where they had, you know, was all the sugar, twice the caffeine. That was their tagline. And it had twice the caffeine of a regular Coke. And it hit the shelves, and then it kind of, kind of, it was around for about a year or two, and it got a bad rap with parents and stuff like this, so it kind of started to disappear. Ten years later, suddenly they start selling, uh, selling crates of it, can, uh, like cases, on uh, um, the shelves in convenience stores nearby that got them from somewhere. I'm like, I'm not going to drink a soda that's been sitting in storage for ten years. Yeah, and you said you did it from somewhere. That doesn't sound. That doesn't instill me with confidence. Um. All right, says let's be real. By the time you're making a diamond block base, you're way beyond caring about tacky. Hundred percent true. Um. True. Mister Russo says actually, it looks like a new company is making it now and selling it as of two thousand eighteen. That's good, but I mean, it's still it's going to taste like boiled gym socks. So you know, hey. Water Joe has a website and it's for sale again. Oh God. Jolt Cola was good. I liked Jolt Cola. Um, I I probably could not drink it now because the caffeine content would be too high. So, but I, I I liked it at the time. You see what I did? See what I did? No loops. No loops. No loops. No capes. No soup for you. Um, no Jolt. No Jolt Cola. My CC crew members. Gave me one, and I was up for 48 hours straight. Okay, so here's a fun fact: coffee beans naturally have a, a, a have naturally have the caffeine chemical occurring in them when you grow them. It's just you know you grow coffee beans; they've got caffeine in them. Coffee companies like Folgers extract it, and it comes out as this ultra fine white powder. They extract it and they sell it to companies like Coke and Pepsi, and they put it in their drinks. Uh, it is artificially added caffeine. 
Well, there's a Folgers plant on the on the east side of Houston, and I used to work at another company that backed up to their parking lot. So you could stand out in the back employee parking lot in the mornings and just wake up from smelling coffee beans. It was great. But they had a company that they would sell off their caffeine to. These dudes would come in trucks, buy these big drums of powdered caffeine. And there was this one time where one of the canisters was not sealed properly. It tipped over and busted and sprayed one of the carriers for this company with this white powder. It was so fine that it gets absorbed through your skin. That's how fine it is. That guy was hospitalized from caffeine exposure. He was taken out in an ambulance. Think about that. Lasers are connected. <laughs> I hear them. You sound so thrilled, Box. I'm... Baby. 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 Um, Dark Preacher says, The stuff used to make me sleepy when I was a kid. ADHD and caffeine had funny effects. Yeah. Uh, free radical stimulants. That's like instant heart attack. Yes, that's the problem. The guy was supposedly hospitalized for a week. Uh, from what the guys at Folger said, he was hospitalized for a week, and of that week, he was up for like three or four days straight. They had to dose him with uh, uh, other chemicals to counteract the stimulant effect and actually bring him back down and prevent his heart from basically just giving out. Yeah, it's dangerous yep. stuff. People have OD'd on caffeine in the energy drinks from time to time, says Low Res Gamer. Yeah. If there was a tap my foot animation here, Donnie, I would have it going right now. The what are you doing? It's charging. Oh, right. I use cheap kills because I'm not in the mood to make more. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Storing 5 million RF. What the heck is GRF? Is that Giga? Giga RF. That's 350 billion RF. What? It's a, little, it's a little 2 billion RF. Yeah. Oh, my God. Stream so yes, laser shot shouldn't use that much, but it needs a certain amount first. Um, we need a combined total of the wiki says 600 to 800 million RF to jump shot the reactor. Once it's running, it'll keep running as long as that's fuel. Reactor ports, okay. So multiple reactor, these reactor ports are power out, right? Uh, there are anything, there are input and output. We oh, have okay. this one for power. Um, eventually, I want to move the walls back to make room for, for steam turbines. We're going to need more sponge. I have water. <laughs> we have sponge. Um, so the, the, these two ports are for water. And oh, okay. Cool. So there is DT fuel in the chemical infuser. Um, I filled up a whole room. It's now inside the reactor controller. Now we're just waiting for power. What would happen if I stuck a second hall room in the chemical infuser? It would have filled up. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to stick one in the yeah, there. Just for, yeah. Just in case. Whatever. Okay, in case the reactor dies, when we log back in next. This one has 18 million. 350 million over here. No, that's uh, not right. 19 million. million. Sorry, I was reading the wrong thing. Yeah. It's 20 million now. So we got a few minutes to let it charge, and then we can turn it on. Oh. Hey, Mallrat, it's not Jigga, it's Giga. I'll fight ya. Um. Sigil, sigil. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Every time <laughs> I'm in a pack that's got uh, freaking blood magic in it, I just dread the comments. Um, actually, it's not Sigil, it's but Sigil. It's you're pronouncing it. Yeah, you're pronouncing it wrong? <laughs> You see, in 1745, it was radical. Oh, just shut up. Uh, but there, actually. Yeah, they're maybe 2% loaded right now, says Mulrat. Yeah, that's about right. Going to be a wait. I don't think they have to be fully charged. We just need to get partial power. Yeah, yeah we just need enough power to get this thing started. Um, the reactor will keep running as long as the injection rate is high enough to maintain the temperature. I seem to remember six being required to maintain the minimum temperature. Two is perfectly fine. It doesn't matter what your injection rate is as long as you have enough fuel to keep that injection rate going. Ta-da! So says the super nerd. So there. So um, says the nuclear, en the <laughs> nuclear engineer. Nuclear engineer. <laughs> um, Mr. Is well, okay. actually. <laughs> New sub in hand, anything I need to connect to for preparation for joining sub servers and the like. I'm still figuring that stuff out, Mr. Rue. 
Um, what I think I'm going to do, there are some backend plugins and stuff that we can cross connect. Um, but yes, we'll figure something out. What I'm probably going to have to do is make a page on my website that will register people. But for right now, uh, just shoot me a PM on the Discord um, and let me know. Just remind me that you have subbed and I'll get your permission straightened out one way or the other. Yes. Severin says I'm missing anything. Internet got mad at me for a second there. Um, we're trying to get a fusion reactor started. It's built. We're just waiting for everything to power up. If the lasers are pulsing, they need 10,000 P per T. What is that? Power per tick, I'm assuming. Oh, uh, okay. See, these transfer are a lot higher than you think. It's 9,000 RF per tick per connection. Yeah. That's actually one thing a lot of people have mistaken. It's not that the entire length can move 9,000 RF per tick. It's that each connection can handle a max of 9,000 RF per tick. Across the streams. Darpert says, I ran my box O Sun off of two lasers. Yeah, that thing powered your base just fine. That was back in 1710, but. Uh, uh, what's that? The more lasers you have, the faster it charges. That's. Sure. Uh, idea. Right. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Night Pirate says, Cross the streams? No, let's not do that. That sounds bad. After BC4, let's not. <laughs> nope. Nope. No crossing the streams. Okay, 43 million. We might have to actually wait until Monday to turn this on because it's going to be wild. Yeah. This, these have just got 40 million RF each. But it's built. Monday night, we can start doing some uh, wrapping up on uh, Wasted. We can finish off a couple of things. Maybe do one last raid into a city somewhere. And um, yes, my air is at 93% and declining despite being in clean air. You can ask Maul right about that one. Uh... I, I don't know what's up. <laughs> uh, legit, there's something about my suit that's been broken for a while now. But yeah, um, Monday night, we're going to do Wasted. I'm hoping that um, we might be able to get... Um, once you get the reactor up and running, the lasers get powered easily, says Dark Preacher. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, your charger doesn't charge all the time, yeah. So, um... Oh, yeah. Is that still going? It's still going, but we've got... We're we using enough power. We actually have two generators at full burn. Uh, liquid ethylene oh is... Building up, I think. Yeah, it's going up. Yeah, it's going up in batches. Liquid ethylene is staying staying ahead of the curve, so I think we're good. Um, uh, this is full. Um, Awesome. Yeah. I'm sure the other one upstairs is full, too. It's not yeah. we're using it right now. Doors almost ate me. Um, okay, real quick, I'm actually going to go to face cam. Um, we're gonna wrap things up here. Thank you very much, everybody, all you wonderful people. Um, I figured out a feature uh, that exists on Streamlabs.com called credits that you can roll at the end of a stream. And all the wonderful folks that donated and sub this evening will get credit where credit is due. I love all of you, each and every one individually. Um, we are going to um, toggling it will cause the, sh the suit to charge again. What do you mean toggling what? The actual mod? Yeah, see, it, I take it off and back on. And it goes to 99% immediately. So I'm not worried about it. My air does go back up if I take the chest piece off and put it back on. But mm, it's still weird that it drops in clean air. Um, Discord uh, message sent. Thanks for the stream today, says Mr. Roo. Thank you very, very much for subbing. Um, I think this weekend what I would like to do is get a 1.0 release candidate for uh, Coop Life 2 available to certain folks in the public, like subscribers, some of the people in the League of Ordinary Gamers, uh, like Night Pirate wants to uh, uh, test it out and see what it's going to be going, uh, what it's going to be working like for his uh, Game Sync Land Center, stuff like that. We're going to send out a few copies of it to uh, select a few folks uh, and get some opinions on and thoughts on things. It won't have the quests done, but then sometime next week we'll actually release the full pack because I think everything else is basically done, except for a couple of things we just gotta button up real quick. Um, so yeah, thought you had the flux converter. Yeah, it's an it's a desync. I do have the flux converter, and my my chest is charging. Uh, DM me on Sunday. Not working Saturday. Okay, awesome. I will do that, Night Pirate. Um, yes, Mr. Rue is on the T-Log Discord, I believe. Anybody that's not, 
make sure you head over to discord.vagram.com. Join in on the community and everybody else. Uh, all these wonderful folks here, gamers, parents, kids, whatever. We have a really good community going. Lots of people that just love video games, and uh, that's about it. Um, they're otherwise, all crazy. Yes, they're all crazy in some way, form, or fashion. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I will see you folks later. There is going to be a live stream at 2 p.m. Texas time tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be doing shenanigans and showing off some of the final stuff in the Coop Life 2 pack. And uh, then... Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Otherwise, I'll see you folks later. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.